Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be reviewing the iPhone 10 two years later. So now I know the phone is not two years old yet, but I mean we are in the second year of the life of the iPhone 10. This is the original iPhone 10. Now there's the 10s now, but I decided what about we review a phone from 2017 again, which is my personally my daily driver currently and talk about why I didn't upgrade from to the 10s. So now the reason why I kept the 10 is because there was not that big of a difference between the 10 and the 10s that it was worth upgrading. Now, this phone is a decent camera. It has portrait mode, it has pano, it is it has 4K video, it's got slow-mo, you can film 4K 60 on here. I mean, this phone actually would make a pretty good YouTube camera. So I'm filming you guys right now. So you guys are I'm filming you guys right now with my iPhone. So, this should look a little bit weird, but, I mean, hey, it's pretty blurry though on the iPhone once you zoom in, so the iPhone does not have the best camera when you zoom in on it, but now, when you're, when you're far away and you're not zoomed in on the actual product, it's not blurry, but when you zoom in, it gets pretty blurry, so I just filmed you guys on here, and so, it doesn't look too bad, I mean... This phone came in silver and space gray, and it had it was the first phone actually from Apple that was this all be this bezel-less design, but they, it does have a notch. So now we could talk about sort of like why Apple might be making the notch smaller this year. So if you guys have not been looked, looking at the rumors, Apple will be making the notch smaller this year, which should be interesting to see since Apple has had the same size notch for two years in a row and now manufacturers are trying to move away from the notch and they're trying to have that little hole punch design. They're, Apple's not going to do the hole punch but I mean that's what we think. I definitely think they're going to shrink the notch or even they could they could definitely make the notch a lot smaller if they move the microphone up top and put the, move the cameras over a little bit and they could have a much smaller notch but back into back about the iPhone 10. Now the iPhone 10 has a great display. It was the first phone to have an OLED display. It was also Apple's first year having wireless charging, which I think wireless charging is great and I love using it with my phone. I use it every night. So now more reasons why I didn't actually switch to the 10s is because it's it's annoying to have to change all your stuff every year. Now I've been switching every year up until this year. So this was the first year I had I did not get the new iPhone. And honestly, just upgrading this to iOS 12 and stuff, I'm not seeing any issues. The only issue I have had, which is more recently with the phone, is Face ID got very slow compared to how it was when I got the phone. Now Face ID is not as quick as Touch ID because Touch ID is much more advanced than Face ID because Face ID is much newer. But Face ID is definitely a lot slower than Touch ID on here. Well, there is no Touch ID on the iPhone 10s or 10s, but... Anyway, Touch ID was a lot quicker on the 7, which is what I had before this, but that was that's really my only issue I've been having lately. And I also had an issue where my screen would go green with a bunch of lines through it, but I they replaced my phone with a new one. So my battery life is decent again. My battery life was terrible before, but now the battery life is better since they replaced the phone with a new one. So there have been some issues, some defects with the phone, such as the displays not working and them not functioning right which Apple has taken care of and they're replacing every iPhone 10 when you bring it into the Apple store they're replacing your phone now what now here's a little connection I have so I was with someone and they brought in their iPhone 10 because the display was not functioning right and it froze all the time and Apple just replaced the display and the, that same person is still having problems with their phone so app this person does not have Apple care so Apple's just sending them a brand new iPhone 10 in the mail so pretty great Apple you're taking care of your customers very well when it comes to their phones not working but anyways I think the iPhone 10 is doing pretty well almost two years old and I think it's still going strong but this year I will be upgrading to the iPhone 11 max and I can't wait to see what that looks like when it comes out so if you guys do not catch our podcast our new podcast coming later this week if you guys see that you'll see our new podcast and we'll be talking about the iPhone 11 so check out the Apple Informative Podcast today. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys in the next